Before ko i-discuss yung next topic natin sa differential calculus, uh, magkakaroon muna ako ng konting review about sa uh, topic na equation of a line. So, di ba nung high school, uh, tinuruan tayo nung iba't ibang method para makuha yung equation ng line. So, let's say may given tayong two points, we can... Uh, determine the equation of a line and also given yung slope nya and then intercept or slope and then point. So, ito yun magiging ano natin uh, review. Ano? So, simulan ko dun sa Cartesian plane. So, yung Cartesian plane natin is binubuo ng horizontal and vertical axis, which is, si x-axis is the horizontal, and then vertical is the y-axis. So, uh, meron tayong four quadrant. Quadrant 1 is here, wherein yung value ng x natin is positive, nasa right, nung Cartesian plane, and then, uh, yung y coordinate is positive ren. And then, pagdating sa quadrant 2, di ba, nasa left side na ng x-axis yung value niya, so negative siya, then, uh, yung y pa rin niya is nasa taas, therefore, siya ay positive. Then, pagdating kay third quadrant, ang, ang value na ng x natin is negative, and then, yung sa y is negative na rin. So, pag quadrant 4, we have positive x, then negative y. So, meron tayo dito ang given 2 points. Ano? So, identify natin kung asang quadrant siya. So, this is uh, point A, wherein yung x coordinate niya is 1. Diba, pag nag-express tayo ng point, uh, ito yung x coordinate, then y coordinate. So, where ilolocate natin ngayon si point A. So, yung x ni A is 1. Then, yung y niya is andun. Wait. Facing uh, ko na ito. Uh, I-anoy lang natin yung intersection. So, x is 1, then yung y is 2. So, therefore, andito si point A. So, how about si point B? So, sabi dito, negative 3 yung x, therefore, andito siya. And then, 0 yung y. Therefore, andito siya. Within, nag -inter, uh, within sa horizontal na axis natin, which is x. So, now, para makabuo tayo ng line, uh, pagkakonikin lang natin tong dalawang point na to. So, wala rin, nag-intersect ha? Straight line yan. Nag-intersect pareho dun sa A and B. So, how are we going to determine the equation of the line? Ano, sabi natin, ito na yung line natin. So, di ba yung uh, standard equation ng of a line natin is ax plus by plus c equals 0. So, ngayon, yung unang method na ipapakita ko sa inyo ng pagdetermine ng equation ng line is gamit yung given two points. So, ang gagamitin formula dito kapag given yung two points, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 equals y sub y minus y sub 1 over x minus x sub 1. So, yung kinakailangan nating values is manggagaling dun sa given na dalawang point. So, for example, ang point 1 natin is si A, which is yung x, x sub 1 natin is magiging 1, and then y sub 1 is 2, and then for, consider natin na point 2 si B, Therefore, x sub 2 is negative 3, then y sub 2 is 0. So, direct substitution lang tayo dito. So, y sub 2 is 2 minus y sub 1. Ah, baliktad. Yung y sub 2 is 0 minus y sub 1 na 2. And then, x sub 2 is negative 3 
minus x sub 1 na 1. So, y minus y sub 1 is 2, x minus x sub 1 is 1. So, yung y and x natin dito, siya na kasi yung magre-represent nung uh, any point dito along the line na nagko-contain. So, ito kunyari si unknown point x, y. Po, unknown point p. So, simplify natin to by cross multiplication 2 times x minus 1 and then Ito, pag sinimplify, negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So, we have, uh, yan. So, distribute ko lang. Negative 2x plus 2 equals negative 4y plus 8. So, para makuha natin to yung standard equation. So, ipanta lang natin sa left side lahat. And then, we have negative 2x plus 4y, then 2, kakabilaan natin yung 8, then we have negative 6 equals 0. So, ito na yung, ano natin? Ito na yung equation ng line natin. So, therefore, ito, 2x, plus, negative 2x plus 4y minus 6 equals 0. So, another way na, another method na pwede natin gamitin pag kukuha ng equation ng line is yung point-slope form niya. Ano, point-slope form. So, ang magiging formula naman niya, so we have dito, uh, m x minus x sub 1 equals y minus y sub 1. So, saan naman manggagaling si slope? Paano ang problema kasi dito, paano natin ito magagamit kung wala naman tayong given slope? So, base kasi sa given natin, 2 points, kaya ito yung ginamit. So, now, halimbawa naman, uh, ito yung gagamit, gusto natin gamitin. So, hahanap tayo ng slope. So, ang formula lang ng slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 or the change in y over change in x or rise over run. So, mapapansin nyo, yung point slope form natin, derived lang din siya galing dito sa equation na to. Since si m is equivalent dito. ba? Yung equation natin ng m dito, ito siya. So, ito, kumbaga, pag in-express natin siya in terms na ito ng slope, so, same equation pa rin siya. Ano? Ayun, multiply lang dun si x minus x sub 1. Then, equal siya kay y minus y sub 1. So, now, therefore pala, kaya nating makuha na si slope. So, ito na yung slope. So, base dito, y sub 2 is, y sub 2 is 0 minus y sub 1 na 2 over negative 3 minus 1. Sabi ko, andito na siya. So, simplify lang natin. Negative 2 over negative 4. So, we have positive 1 half yung magiging slope natin. So, yan, yan ito na. Erasin ko lang. Asan? Chloe, nasa na yun? Eraser ko. Hindi ko lang. Oh! Naka ano? Huwag ka na maingay. Hindi naman nakapos. Shhh! Oo nga. Asan na? Hindi ko Wala lang. Eraser. So, i-take note na lang natin na may yung one-half na value ng uh, one-half value. Yung nakuha natin value ng slope is one-half. So, now, tingnan na natin. Uh, substitute natin dito. One-half 
x minus. So, yung isasubstitute dito ng value ng x sub 1 and y sub 1 is kahit anong point yung gamitin natin. Kung si point 1, pwede rin or kahit si point B. So, gaya din dito sa situation na to, kahit i-interchange mo yung yung dalawang point, sabihin natin na si point A is siya naman yung point 2 and then si B is siya naman yung point 1, same yung magiging resulta niya. So, dito, kahit aling point din yung gamitin natin. Or, so, gamitin lang natin si B. So, let's say si B yung ginamit natin. So, therefore, ano yung x sa uh, yung x coordinate ni B? Negative 3. So, we have negative 3. This is equal to y minus y sub 1 is 0. So, we have uh, x over 2 plus 3 halves equals y. So, pag pinagsaba natin sa kabila, x sub 2 minus y plus 3 halves equals 0. So, mapapansin ninyo parang hindi siya pareho dun. Pero, ito lang yung parang sinimplify, simplified format, kasi diba naka-over 2. Parang itong equation na to, dinivide mo siya lahat by 2. Tama ba? By 2. So, we have kapag kapag uh, simplify din natin to i-divide natin siya by 2. So, bakit parang hindi nagtugma yung sagot natin? So, we have 0, negative 3, negative 4, y minus 2, negative 2, x plus 2, negative 4, y plus 8, So, negative 6. So, pagdating dito, 1 half, x minus 3. So, x plus 3 halves plus 5. So, pag uh, itinry natin itong ipareho dito, so, itimes natin siya by 4, both sides. So, we have times 4. Para makita ninyo yung pareho lang siya. So, we have 2x minus 4y plus, so, ito ay 4 times 3 divide 2 is 6 equals 0. So, hindi pa rin siya pareho. Mukhang hindi siya pareho. Ano? Pero, pag tinignan nyo na uh, kung minultiply natin siya ng negative, so, gawin din natin siyang negative 2x dito. By negative 4 na natin siya i-multiply. So, we have negative 2x plus 4y minus 6. Which is, pareho na siya. Ano? Nagtali na. Dun sa uh, pagkuha natin ng equation ng line using uh, given two points and then using naman dito ng isang point and then slope niya. So, pareho lang yung uh, equation na nakuha natin. So, another way pa rin is yung tinatawag natin uh, point slope form ay slope intercept form. Kung sinabi naman natin slope intercept form slope intercept form So, ganito naman yung uh, formula niya. Yung equation ng line natin is ganito na yung format. So, y equals mx plus b. So, paano natin i-transform yung uh, standard formula natin into slope-intercept form? So, i-equate lang natin sa kabila si y and then lahat na andito. So, sample na natin dito. So, we have negative 2x plus 4y equals uh, minus 6 equals 0. So, we have uh, 4y is equal to 2x plus 6. So, y is equal to, ba diba, kapag dinivide natin to both sides by 4, we have uh, 1 half x plus 3 halves. So, 6 over 4. Ano? So, yung m natin, di ba? Ano yung, yung m natin kanina? Si 1 half. So, 
Dito, sa slope-intercept form, malamang siya yung coefficient ni x. So, di ba? Tali pa rin. We have 1 half. And then, ano ba si b? Siya yung intercept. Y-intercept. It is the value of y when x is equal to 0. So, pag siniro natin yung value ng x, anong value ng y? 3 halves. So, ito yung y-intercept natin. So, ano pa ba? Um, so, yun lang yung uh, concept, mahalagang uh, yung basic knowledge na dapat alam nyo kasi uh, very useful siya dun sa magiging topic natin. So, discuss ko naman next is yung tinatawag nating tangent line. So, pag sinabi natin, uh, ah, bago pala yung tangent, uh, paano ba sinasabing parallel yung dalawang line? So, halimbawa, ito yung line 1 natin, which is meron siyang slope na value, m sub 1. And then, another line, m sub 2, meron naman din siyang slope. So, kapag yung slope ng dalawang line is equal, matatawag mo siyang parallel line. Ano? Ibig sabihin, parallel daw yung dalawang line. So, paano naman natin masasabing uh, perpendicular line silang dalawa? Or normal line? So, pag sinabi natin normal, ito, kunwari ito si third line natin, which is m sub 3, uh, dapat yung angle between dun sa dalawang uh, line, dapat is 90 degrees, which is perpendicular. Perpendicular siya dito kay m1. Ano? Therefore, normal yung line natin, line 3 kay line 1. So, kung perpendicular din siya dito, so, normal line din siya dun. So, halimbawa, uh, yun na nga, may given tayong ano yung relationship ng, nung, is, ng mga slope ng perpendicular line. Diba, sabi natin pa kapag parallel, ang slope ng parallel line is equal. So, how about naman kapag siya ay perpendicular line? So, ito. So, halimbawa, ito yung line 1 natin. Meron siyang slope na m sub 1. And then, halimbawa, ito na yung uh, another line na perpendicular sa kanya, m sub 2. So, kapag in-express natin yung, yung slope nung m sub 2 is equal daw sa negative reciprocal ng slope ni line 1. So, ganun yung re relationship naman nung perpendicular line or normal line. Yung normal. So, yun din. Pakitake note yun. So, yun lang muna. Ano, sa next video ko na i-introduce yung next topic. Thank you.